pretty good. Got it, that's a lot. So to answer your question about the UVs uh, being mirrored, I kind of set them up on the side over here for now. And actually in the version that I made for baking, uh, I grabbed all the stuff that you see red. There's like a mirrored uh, section of it, like the hair right here. That's half of the hair. Uh, the other half I shrunk down to a single vert and I moved it up into the corner somewhere so that when we bake we don't have to like delete anything but we keep you know some of the self-shadowing that would happen from the other polygons being nearby. If we don't bake with those out, then this part will be extra bright, even though it should have maybe a little bit of darkness, there's, depending whether there'll be something you know nearby or floating over top of it or something like that. So moving those UVs out of the way for uh, just a bake version is a nice step to uh, add to your workflow. A lot of rum in these. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's get sip drunk tonight. Where's the horn? Well, we're drinking beer right now, man. I mean, we could have poured the beer in there, I guess, but... We'll go get some hard liquor afterwards, and we'll use the horn. Hey, Bumch, I don't speak Russian, man. Try and translate that so that I can answer your questions, man. English or Spanish, please. Bomb shows speak English. Well, both of us are talking to nobody. <laughs> Roofer's doing over there. Staring at us. Alright. It ain't being the chillest. Okay, it just raises more questions. Ah, would I like Russian vodka? Yeah, man, you guys are like the king of vodka, right? You guys gotta have good stuff. For sure. <laughs> gotta say no to free vodka. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, the underneath part that you see over here that I threw off to the side is actually the underbelly of those hair pieces. Uh, you see it right there, see it moving about? there. Um, I'm actually mirroring the top of the mesh with the bottom one because I wanted to save the UV space for the stuff that you see the most, which is the top and the hair and the, the hair bun and uh, all, all those little things, right? The chopsticks and whatnot. So um, I just, even though it's different topology, I can still like hold it on there. I'll, uh, I, I shrank these guys down, I shoved them in there somewhere so that they still bake with the uh, you know, bake some shadows on other areas around there so that the light rays hit it, bounce back and tell us like, hey, there's something here instead of just not baking with it at all, right? And then once these guys are all baked up, what I do is then I grab these UVs and I fit them over top of what we baked out. And then I make sure like I scale them about and I grab these vertices, I try to make them match without island mode. I try and make them match as close as possible without distorting the mesh and that gives us the best result. So that's a quick, nice little baking workflows uh, for you guys if you guys are actually working on some 3D stuff. So yeah, that's, uh, that's our UVs all finished for our Templar Assassin. Good stuff. Hey, what's up, X? Oh, I'm good, man. After that jello shot and this beer and more hard liquor, uh, we're gonna be chilling through the night. Getting some sea brush stuff done, so let's jump right onto that. Uh, we can minimize our exercise here, and I've already brought over... 
the dog's falling asleep over there. Turn proof cam on and off. Keep fit. <laughs> um. Oh, sh. We're gonna have to switch over. I'm gonna have to redo the chat for this one. Okay, no big. One second, guys. Capture dashboard the region uh, let me use it. There we go. Really quick. Right guy. Alright, that's good. little hack. When I say baking, yes, I mean uh, the normal Mac baking and the ambient occlusion baking and any light passes that we do for the baking as well, like light baking that you're talking about as well, yeah. That's exactly what we're we talking about now. Seth, come on. Alright, uh, um, so let's see, where do we start? Uh, the, probably the dress is probably the best spot to start. So what we need to do here is turn on uh, symmetry, so that we only work on this half, that it's gonna, this is going to be mirrored. Uh, this is going to be mirrored. This part is unique. And of course, our undo already broke, but that's all right. I have to fix for that. Over here, off screen. A really weird bug with that ZBrush. Over, rides your hot, your hotkeys, and it rides the default hot. Uh, hotkey that is uh, undo, control Z. Like, why the fuck? Over to pixel logic. Rush. Uh, where is it? I think it's in startup. See startup? Hotkeys? Yeah, there it is. I'm actually gonna add a shortcut here. I can just access it super well. That and we undo. Nope, still broken. Hold on. We got to the wrong place. Hotkeys. Start up hotkeys. Wait, I might be in the wrong. Oh, that was the right place. That's gonna make our life a lot harder. <laughs> fucking file? Hotkeys TXT.
Bear with me, guys. Kind of bullshit. Happen to be the, the, the okay, so it saves them somewhere else and you need to your it's alright, got this. This 100% fixed it. Bam, okay. It's beyond horrendous, dude. I can't believe that that's a fucking bug and see, like, it's, come on, man. Like, it's not like it's a brand new program, right? Where they can't fix that bug. Like, undo is like the most used thing in ZBrush because you fuck up all the time. Chuck it up as a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, Das Bob? Welcome in, dude. Good to have you in. Alright, so uh, what I did when I brought in a uh, mid polygon version of our scene, let me show you guys. Turn this on so. Take this and we'll open up the mid poly version here. Here we have, this is the, it looks exactly the same, but it's actually not. I added a whole bunch of edges to the end, so it's a lot easier to work with. When I'm near the edges, it doesn't completely kill them and change our silhouette. So I beveled like, I think three or four different layers of beveling across all the edges all over the place in here. You can see them right there. See all these extra bevels, all this gray stuff. That wasn't there in the low poly. This is all for the mid poly version that we uh, exported out. And I did that for all our items, the hair pieces, which is like I think four separate ones so that we can work on them separately. The braces, the metal stuff, the skirt, the legs, you know, everything else. So that's our that's what we call our mid poly version in this this particular set. Um Sometimes we do it differently and we just start straight from the low poly or sometimes we even subdivide and make it all super smooth and make sure that the silhouette uh, is the same. Okay, back to ZBrush. Alright, Hot wheel is working. Hey, Fowler, welcome in as well, man. Good to have you. Luisma? Hey, you guys all joining up at one at the same time? Subscribers. Telepathing each other. Alright, so when I brought this model in, I subdivided it without the smooth option first, so that it keeps our silhouette, uh, and it creates a cleaner bake at the end of the thing, so when we're finished doing all the little wrinkles and the cloth stuff. And we also uh, then subdivided with smooth two more times after the non-smooth subdivisions. On um, the subdivision level 4 or 5 now, I guess. And at this point, we go in and we get rid of all these little uh, qu square quads and edges and polygons and make it all nice and smooth, but uh, we know that it's going to keep our silhouette, which is really important for us. So I'm just using a standard brush, I like to go in here and turn down my smooth intensity to about 63 or so. And with our standard brush, which is at... A little harsh, yeah. I turn that down to about 13, 15 or so. Yeah, that's better. And we have symmetry on. So we're gonna smooth out her chest and her, her dress here. So that we don't see these square polygons or quads and hard edges any longer. So we just kinda fill in the middle part a little bit. And we smooth out at the same time, uh, right after. And we start getting way smoother sections here. At the same volume, which is what we're after. I 
And it's a little time consuming, but in the end it's totally worth it. But we do have symmetry on, so it should be easy to go all the way down to the waist and then they just do the cape or her her dress uh, all the way across since it can be symmetrized as this. I think our tunes need to be on uh, randomized. There we go. Excellent. Is made of gray. It's alright, it'll turn to black later once so she said the uh, black lotus. Smoothing boobs, best job ever. You know what? I'm gonna give it to the Simstress, or if it's there's a guy, Simstress, like at a Victoria's Secret. Hard to compete with that job. Uh yes, miss, can I measure your boobs? And you're gonna pay me money for that, bro? My high school counselor was full of shit, man. How come they don't tell you that shit when you're in high school? That's a job? Fuck going to the moon. Really easy and chill smoothing of polygons. Nothing too fancy. No need to be really for low poly stuff. <laughs> Manny! <laughs> what man? I'm just keeping it real. I know, right? Astronaut. You're a mathematician. Biologist. Marine biologist. Nobody fucking tells you that there's a job out there where you can be working at, like, Victoria's Secret measuring that stuff? Oh. Holding out on everybody. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that'll be my, my reaction back then in high school. That's a job? <laughs> what? Why are you- why are you a counselor? I don't understand. Why did you choose that job? And the counselor would be like... Uh, I have to be really careful while I'm doing this. We can't just make it, you know, pr just smooth the fuck out of it, because then we lose those vol volumes. So I'm really just trying to get rid of the, the quads here, uh, which, you know, you have to be a little precise here and there. You can't go just crazy. That's why you see this is taking a little bit longer. Precision counts. Uh... Well, game design wasn't a career back then either, right? Like, back then you didn't even realize that people, there's people making these games. You were just like, ah, fucking new game came out. I'm, you know, mom, can I, can you, can, can we buy this? Can this be for Christmas and my birthday? Can I get a new PlayStation, you know, one? Or was it Sega CD at the time, I guess, for me? Uh, that was like the big thing, you know, when that thing came out and then the Dreamcast and then it was just like, holy shit, games are looking amazing. So, you know, that was like the biggest jump in evolutions of games, right? Going from the 8-bit, over to like what was the what was first? Well, I guess the 64 bit. 64 bit was after that, and then the Saturn came after that with 32 bit and all that. Well, no. Saturn was what was Saturn? Saturn was first. Then Nintendo 64, yeah. 
but those jumps were the biggest. There's the biggest change, you know, even today, you know, games haven't don't change that drastically anymore. But man. I completely trailed off there. What was I talking about? We need more shots, you guys. That's what's going down. Hmm. Those not being careers. Ha! Okay, we went right by circle back to it. Uh, so yeah, back then, I mean, there was, you couldn't learn any of that shit anywhere, let alone on the internet. There was, you know, the internet back then, pff, was, there, was, there was no tutorials, there was no YouTube, you know, like, you couldn't watch a stream and have somebody that's been working in the industry for a very long time tell you the best workflows and help you, you know, help you learn by watching and by explaining things. Or going on Vimeo and watching, you know, just typing in a hey, tutorial for Maya and getting like 20 different videos up there about how to make a ball bounce. Back then, it wasn't a career. No kids knew that that could be possible. Even for me in high school, I was like, I know, I know about that shit. You know, I was playing games and all that stuff, but there's nobody was teaching you that, that those sort of things. It was just programming classes would teach you that. Uh, so then, I think when Half Life. One came out is when I first started really getting into like PC gaming, you know, with Half-Life 1 and modding that stuff. And then, you know, uh, going to this website that was called, uh, oh, what was it? Something Fusion. Fuck, what was it? Something Fusion. And uh, the guy that ran it, his name was Scare Scarecrow, and super nice guy, he like helped me understand, you know, 3D and all these things with like a, a free program called Milkshape 3D, and that's how I got started, you know, it wasn't like, like today, like everybody has a way easier time getting into designing things, and transferring, you know, their classical art stuff onto digital from the now. You fuckers are lucky, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> uh, I know, fucking, the old guy here is like, back in my day. We're <laughs> learning how to model without shoes on and walking 50 miles on glass. Uh, damn kids on the rock music. Uh, I am missing all your comments, Sabrin. It's just that odd time, you know, when I read the, the chat and I'm working on explaining things and your comment just happens to fly through, but let me scroll up. Those raised sides are glaring? What are you talking about? What's painful to watch, man? What are you talking about? Accidentally raised sides? What? No idea what you're talking about. Not even gonna pretend. <laughs> okay, so her chest, I'm not actually giving her a bigger chest, guys. And let me explain to you uh, what's going on here. Her default model actually has this like weird ass corset thing that doesn't even go on like past the ribs or into the ribs that much. And it has like a really weird shape for her actual cup. And it really sticks out, and her actual chest isn't even not that big. Just this fucking, look at the thickness of this armor corset, half corset thing. And the shape of it itself, it's kind of fucking weird. And boobs are, n are not like that, <laughs> you know? So, and any 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 guy at Victoria's Secret that's measuring bra sizes will tell you this. Uh, this is inaccurate. But we had to model on top of that. Hey, Flutter Mike, thanks for that follow, man. Um, I have to model on top of that. I can't go uh, smaller, or because otherwise it'll clip and it'll show through the game. I can't hide the, the polygons underneath there, so we gotta we gotta do make do with what we got. Yeah, this is just the perspective on the shaders, really. I mean, in game, it's it's. I mean, and you have like specular and all this stuff going on, but uh, in game, it's actually like right next to the in-game vertices, so it's, it's not actually getting bigger. Let's, uh, let's check in on the dog. This, 
out. For these nasty quads, man. I want them. And we gotta work with some of those low poly places uh, where we uh, added a couple of uh, edges. And it's gonna actually help us out do some of the wrinkle work uh, for her dress there going into the armpit and into the rib section. <laughs> Dog cam, good. I like this. I know, like, every girl in here is gonna be like, okay, we're, we're following Sith now, he's got a dog cam. Oh, Oh, he moved his head. Look, hold up now. You see his little lion head. Good stuff, good stuff. That dog just breaks hearts everywhere he goes. Like, oh my god, that dog is adorable. Fucker he is. Oh, he's cute too. You should see him beg for food. Rest his little head on the bed. Ignore these little bits here and there. Uh, they're just part of the low poly stuff. They'll go away when it's bacon on. Worried about those little bits. Oh crap, see what I'm talking about? We go too, too low, the underneath uh, armor course there. And have that. They look fucking huge. Don't worry about it, they won't look that big again. I inflated her sides. Oh, did I? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, that's what you were talking about, man. Ah, uh, shit. I didn't even fucking notice that, man. Alright, that's, that's fine, I can fix that. Actually, I have a better idea. I wish I read that earlier, dude. It's just some of that bad timing we're talking about. Alright, well, we just have to fix that when we export it. But I'm not redoing the chest. Fuck that. Get to just move these verts. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Looking out. Alright, that should be a little better. One of those quiet songs. Wow, the music's actually pretty loud already.
before. But it's already kind of fixing up. That's what happens sometimes when you <laughs> demonstrate and try to explain things at the same time. Oh well, we'll fix it up real quick, no big whoop. Yeah. Price is averted, sort of. Okay. Thanks dude, good looking out. Probably save this like Nowhere near where we're supposed to be. For assassin, here we go. Save. Up. <laughs> Those are abs. <laughs> wow. Very abnormal. Get it? Abnormal? Sensitivity a little bit down. Get rid of those freaking ridiculous cups. Oh, what's up, Goo? <laughs> I see you, bud. What's up? When do I export the model and run it inside at Dota? Uh, we do that a little bit later down. Actually, Abyss is our uh, technical go-to, and he's rigging this model, and he's going to be throwing it and testing it in game as we do the sculpts and the textures and all that stuff, and then we start putting everything together so that we're uh, so that we don't have anybody waiting on any kind of work uh, with our team, right? Uh, so yeah, so uh, he actually, I think he already rigged it and tried it in game, a uh, super quick rig, and then he'll be finessing it, you know, and making it perfect as we move along. As we're working on this, he's working on that, and if we're allowed to do special effects for New Bloom, he would also be working on special effects that we had assigned uh, for the set. But, can't do it for this one, so instead what we're doing, so that we're extra special, is we're adding this super long uh, ponytail raid to Templar Assassin. So when you see her running about from the top, you're going to see her dress flowing about and then her super long uh, uh, ponytail trailing around with a secondary motion on some physics, some engine physics. You know, she crouches down and she, you know, she, uh, every hero in Dota rotates a lot, but she crouches and she runs and uh, she's, she's very dynamic with her run, so um, the, the ponytail braid thing is going to look fantastic. Sad boobs can get you arrested in San Diego. <laughs> boobs are overrated. Oh man, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that, man. Yeah, Pink Ninja almost got arrested at Comic Con for uh, having some side boobage on her uh, Princess Leia costume. All in for the side boob. Hey Maddie, which part of modeling is the most enjoyable? Low poly creation, C brush, texturing? Um, you know what? I used to love doing the C brush the most. 
but the way that I've been modeling lately for the past few years, where I actually designed the model, like I had the design in my head, right? I don't really do concepts anymore, but I grabbed the concept from my head and I actually sculpt the design into low poly and do both things at the same time. I mean, I do have the, the, the design in my head already, but, you know, it's kind of like concepting it as I'm doing the low poly at the same time. Uh, in a way that people can see it, obviously. So that part I find really, really enjoyable because it's, you know, it's my design coming to life right there. And then from there on out, it's just really, you know, finessing it and uh, making sure the quality pushes up throughout the whole process of the creation of the model. And at the same time, uh, the model also evolves from that initial, you know, idea that I had in my head. I mean, for the final stuff, it usually does end up looking fairly close to what I had in my head. But throughout the process along the ways, you know, working with uh, Enemy or Frosty or Abyss, you know, we might tweak a little things here and there that work better with some of the effects that they did or some of the big stuff or the textures or some of the ZBrush stuff that went through. And, uh, or even myself, you know, I end up changing some of the design on the ZBrush stuff that I think, oh, this is going to work way better with the amount of detail that we have here for the silhouette changes. You know, like, little things evolve and sometimes we even add things like special effects for the most part you know we're like oh man what about this thing you know like we, we end up doing this really cool brace on it and it has this little like opening part let's put a, a little like fire thing that comes out of there you know or drips lava you know things like that and a lot of things have evolved that way into what became our final models like the ck uh headless horseman set and our lone druid set and uh, we started with something really solid that i i really thought through in my head that i know was going to be successful and then it evolves to be even better than that because of uh, the ideas that we get from the team and some of the ideas that we get from you guys. Um, so, the, like I was saying, the low poly stuff is awesome because you know it's my uh, the, the initial design that I, I rip out from my head being sculpted at the same time. And then the C brush, you know, you get to see the detail and something really. I mean, anytime you see anything detailed in C brush, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun to watch, right? Like a lot of people are watching the C brush. ZBrush process for it. And it's fun sculpting, so that's really fun for those reasons. And then texturing it is also really fun now because you get to see almost what the final process, the final piece is gonna look like. So I know, I know, way to not answer the fucking question, Sith, but it's, uh, it's a tie between those three things, really. And then at the end of it is just, you know, pushing through with the art direction with the team and making sure the quality is up there and helping, you know, redo little, pick up little things here and there. And, Making sure that you know the art direction and um, that I'm uh, uh, spearheading, you know the, the the art and the the, the final process, and you know, make sure that everything works together, and that nothing is just like, oh, you know, that's done. Let's not fucking redo it. It's, it's like, no, man, we're gonna fucking redo it and make sure that it fits in with all these other parts that we all did, and that it becomes the best possible thing that we get out there. So even that part is the most enjoyable to me because I get to really, you know, make sure that we get the highest quality possible that we can reach and I think our fan base and the people that buy our sets notice those things. What's my fi my latest favorite part? <laughs> uh, the last thing that we worked on that we I just completely fell in love with was this the Chaos Knight set. Uh, a couple days, I think it was actually yesterday, I was working with Abyss, we're taking screenshots to, for the final, like, uh, I, well, I guess we already submitted, you know, all the bundles for Starlighter, all the six hero bundles that we're going to be releasing. Uh, we just haven't made them public yet because we gotta, we're waiting for some Starlighter guys to add me as friends so I can add them to the contributor things and blah 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 blah. But anyways, uh, we're taking screenshots to add to each of the items. And Abyss was like, oh dude, we should throw the Chaos Knight Headless Horseman set in the background, you know, just as a little, like little easter egg which i just blew for you guys but you know for the other thousands of people that are going to be uh, seeing that stuff later in the workshop because that's the, the amount of people that go through that website is ridiculous and i mean i see like a fraction of it the people that vote on our stuff but holy crap there are so many people that actually visit it most people don't even fucking vote but they, there's a lot of views on that stuff i know the stats i see the stats um but yeah, it's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea, man. Let's throw them in the background. So it's like, all right, let's load it up. And, you know, we have our sets all loaded up and we're taking screenshots. And we throw the Chaos Knight set in there. And it's just like, like, it looks like an Arcana, you guys. Like, it's, it's, everything is so new. And you can, I mean, the, the Chaos Knight himself is just like brown armor and some red limbs. 
everything else that we did on top of that is completely new. New effects, we have new animations, new special effects, new spe you know, like, it's, it's, it really stands uh, way beyond anything we've done yet for sets for Dota 2. So that has to be like my favorite thing so far that we worked on. I mean, once you guys see it in game, you guys seen like maybe the work on it on ZBrush and a little bit of the textures and some of the, the streams that we did for it. But when you see it moving inside of the game with the cape, you know, all ghostly with little uh, tattered ends and the smoke coming out of the, the pumpkin head and the pumpkin going, jumping on the head and him looking around all, all fucking creepy and his rare idol. His uh, cue of the pumpkin flying across the air and smashing into pieces and his death sequence and the fire falling from the lava dripping from the mouth of the horse. Uh, the fire being left behind from the hoofs. I mean, it's... there's... Uh, we're gonna have to work really, really hard to... pass that one next time. And we're gonna try to, of course, you know, but... Uh, we're just we're just really, really proud of the crazy amount... We did a lot of work for that. Like, we, we crunched pretty hard on it, but... The team did a great job on it. Really happy with, uh, with the outcome of it. And wait till you guys see it in game. I mean, that's, that's when you really... You really notice, you know, the, all those the, all those things that I was talking about coming together. Like we didn't compromise on anything. We we did things when we felt that we needed to do them. What is this in the background of? Uh, you mean what are we working on right now? Uh, you can see right below the stream right here uh, what we're working on. It's the new Bloom 2015 Templar Assassin set called the Black Lotus for now. It's a pretty good name. Uh, I don't know if we'll change it, but that's, a, that's our tentative name for the set right now. Speed up a little bit here. We start sculpting some detail, but we gotta we gotta smooth all this stuff out first. And up here is where that armor piece comes. So this is a really difficult part to uh, make you know flow across, but. Uh, we'll, we'll detail and put wrinkles and whatnot, and then we'll use the move tool to make sure that we don't collide through with the armor underneath. bit of a wrinkle there. Armpit will start right about there and a little one side. Bob's gonna change it? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? Man. Make it red? Make it red? What? Red? I think it will maybe white, but I mean, if we go red, it'd be really changing uh, quite a bit of the silhouette. And hey, Voikrus, what's up, man? It'd be changing the silhouette and the colors, and we usually don't want to do both. And uh, with the silhouette change, we probably want to stay with the dark color and then keep the blades pink. I mean, the blades are going to stay pink. We can't change the effects, but uh, keeping a dark, darker color in her is probably smarter, so it stays closer to her default auto. Since we're changing the style and silhouette, like I said, um, quite a bit.
Alright, let's hide some of this hair because it's gonna bug the fuck out of us. Oh god. No hair. Chopstick. More big please? <laughs> More big please what the boobs? <laughs> Come on man. We're gonna kill somebody if we go bigger. So uh, a few years ago there was a news article on the online somewhere. Uh, a, uh, a stripper with like, I don't even know their fucking cup size. Massive titties. She was giving a lap dance to a customer. Fucking killed the customer by knocking him out with a titty. Now, it's kind of funny. Of course, somebody died, so you're like, eh, it, it has been, you know, is it, what is it, 10 years when it's, it can be funny now? Maybe it's been 10 years, I don't know. Um, that being said, if you had to die, there could be a worse ways. Just saying. I mean, that's I mean that kind of story you have to put on your tombstone, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this part's kind of tricky. Different angles. <laughs> Welcome to the live workshop. <laughs> oh, we need to do, we need more shots. We need That's basically all you made. No man, we're being professional. We're talking about uh, a whole bunch of like game production stuff. I swear. Couple of tickets right there. Why haven't I created a laser uh, lightsaber for a uh, juggernaut yet? Um, I don't know. I don't. He's not really like a. Well, I don't know. I don't think he's more. He's, he's not that much of a magical guy. Like even his healing ward doesn't seem like it'd be that much, you know, magical. Him being all like a uh, very Japanese oriented, like his style, right? So yeah, I don't know if a lightsaber for him would work out. Or something energy based, you know, for Dota. Or magic based, I don't know. But I have a really good idea for a Sith kind of style looking thing for uh, Anti Mage. So yeah. You wanna. Go that route, I can talk about that.
We're gonna need more drinks. Oh shit. We're good, we're good. Uh, what kind of weapons are we making for this set? So that's the thing, man. She's got no weapons. Uh, there's no slot for her weapons. Uh, her weapons are just the special effects that are default on her already, her blades. And since we can't do a special effects for the new Bloom stuff, we're not replacing those. Still in the same position, guys. I'll update you. Got any moves? Spin is magical, it even says so in his ability description. Okay, so his description might say it, but it doesn't look magical at all. He's just spinning around, his blade is always pretty much made out of metal with a little bit of a glow. And everything about him is very Japanese, which is not very like energy based. So that, that's what I'm getting at with uh, what I said then. I could totally make a cannon style or set or style a set for jug. Uh, yeah, well, we can give him like a robe, a hooded robe. That could work. I don't know if uh, Bob would be down for that though. Stepping on that line a little too far, I think. All right, Alex. Good luck on your on your game, dude. Don't feed too much. Especially if we're wearing a live workshop set. Don't, don't feed with that, man. It'll make us look bad. Try to uh, sculpt through some quick... ...anatomy. Same time as we're filling up this... Uh, what section? Two birds, one stone. Now her seam goes all the way down here, I believe. And at that point, then it becomes uh, unmarried. Uh, for the rest of the skirt. All wants two. Welcome to the lab workshop, dude. Sharp eyebrows are her weapons. <laughs> her sexy eyebrows or eyelashes. The faster you spin, the more magical you are. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a character that spins a lot that makes him more magical. I don't know, I'm gonna have to throw a cap on that. Sailor Moon? Ah, oh, fuck. Does she spin? Oh, she, that's when she turns into... I think I can't be faulted for that one. I, I, I can proudly say uh, I did not watch Sailor Moon. But I know the reference. Alright, I'll play. I'll play. I had 
head was too much into Star Wars. I was like, the new rolling uh, droid in the new trailer? Shit. And here we gotta be careful. It's not married. It's supposed to be anyway. What about there? Um, let's just look at this part. Now the problem with this, we can't see underneath, so... Throw on uh, the default part, which I can't fucking find on here. Oh, there it is. And back to this. Fucking arm. Right, this uh, let's head the other arm too. Looks like the Venus. Oh, we're at a beer, that's right. How sad. Stop, Waltz. Cool. <laughs> well, that or uh, Sailor Moon. Execute FX. All right, man. Have a good night. Enjoy your sleep. Dream of lots of uh, four sets, I guess. Uh, I will be adding some details on ZBrush as well. I mean, it's a pretty simple model, so just be adding wrinkles and making that look really nice and smooth, and the wrinkles around the waist, uh, around the armpits, things like that, um, towards the bottom maybe a little bit, and then the hair is going to be uh, pretty heavily ZBrushed. And then again, uh, the bracers are going to have a lot of ZBrush, but the cloth, you know, you'll just be cloth stuff. Uh, after that, most of the work for the dress is going to be on the texture with uh, the patterns of the Black Lotus and the... Uh, Maybe we'll sneak in a little a ram in there somewhere. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll grow back, right? Uh, yeah. Simpson line for you, Simpson fans out there. It's when uh, when Homer gets his arm stuck in the vending machine and he's trying to uh, he's trying to steal a uh, soda, I think. <laughs> He's stuck there for days. It's like, well, Homer, we we'll have to cut your arms off. They'll go, they'll go back, back, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> they're about to cut him off. And one guy's like with that light, flashlight in there. He's like, Homer, are you are you just holding onto the can? <laughs> and they just cut to the next scene, and he's just like <laughs> sitting back at home. Uh, that was back when the Simpsons were good, man. Back when uh, Conan O'Brien was uh, was writing for them. Then the Simpsons just turned to total shit. They're not funny anymore. Just like all pop culture now. Like low hanging fruit comedy and it's just like... Ugh. Actually Family Guy's turning to that shit too. Family Guy sucks now. I said it! What about it?
little bumps here and there from some of the muscle groups that are supposed to be there just a little bit. That initial shape, a little bit of a head start and we start sculpting some of the wrinkles. We're pretty straightforward, we can't really go into a crazy amount of detail. It's gonna be uh, fairly small. And not a crazy amount of resolution in those areas either. Overdo that stuff. A good silhouette. Some of those see here and there. Hard. Right. Right. I'm gonna flatten this up a little bit. Press wouldn't actually be stuck and go inside. It will go more across. Just like in the front, you know, it doesn't get stuck to the, the cleavage. Uh, it was almost straight across, so we want to do the same kind of thing on the back. We want to have this completely going that direction. A little bit more on the back because you get some of the uh, the bones from the spine to poke through here and there, so we can have little bumps. Uh, but as we go down the, the middle here, you want to pull this out if it's a tight dress on the back. Or I guess a tight dress on a male. We're not sculpting her actual skin, so press. And there will be tension across here. We we'll some wrinkles on there when we get to that point. Go across a little bit nicer. Right now, pretty good, pretty smooth. Good starting point for actually sea brushing. Right now, it's uh, still kind of like the setup state. Oh, for fuck's sake. Doesn't like having the arms missing before you save, so don't hide them. Oh, fuck. Really weird combinations and key bindings for Zebra. Bad girl, have a good night. Thank you for dropping by. After your shower and everything, thank you. See you next time. Have a good night. Ah, oh, I keep grabbing the fucking beer bottle and it's like, there's nothing in there. I need to get a new drink. Uh, let's see, what time is it? 1.34, we've been streaming for about actual work, probably an hour and 15, an hour 20 or so. Um, yeah, let's take a short break. I'm gonna go downstairs, uh, make a new hard liquor drink inside of that horn. We gotta find that horn. And we'll come right back and we'll keep sea brushing and uh, smoothing out these groups before we do some of the detail. So you guys stick around and go away. Back. A little commercial while we come back, alright? Guys in a bit. We'll get yourself a drink too. Don't let me drink alone.
Hey guys, welcome back. Check this out. Wait, right. Roofers get a little treat. Oh, look at him waiting for us. Being a good boy, proof. Being a good boy. I don't know why he waits for this bob. Like, can you get Out of the arm here. Not even looking at it. Waiting for the word. Being a good boy, proof. Okay. Such a good boy. Pretty good dog. Good boy. You like the dentist thing? Why? About the horn. Bottoms up. Man, and welcome. Oh, the dog's going for a walk. All right, let's uh, finish smoothing this uh, shoulder item, which is her entire dress. What the fuck happened? Now we can turn off the symmetry by working all the way from here down to the rest of the dress. Hurt. The bigger brush for this. And we can also move a little bit faster because all this stuff is going to be fairly smooth. We already did most of the work uh, with the low polygon here for her, uh, the shapes, her, her skirt and uh, the weight behind them. Elves, welcome back, man. Joaquin. Also, welcome to the live workshop. What's up, fellas? Oh, God, my hands smells like freaking dog's dentistic. Let's jump. Try again in a second. Part nice and uh, uh, round. Just a Walking around. So yeah, if you're making a a, a, a dress, uh, well, I mean, if it's low poly stuff like this, and you're not using any uh, some like real cloth physics to actually run like the whole like wrinkles, you know, something more cinematic. Uh, if you're doing something low poly like this, 
uh, you want to sculpt as much as you can on the wrinkles and the low polygon, you know, given the, the poly count. Dog's trying to jump on his bed, but he can't improve. Can I? Can your bed, man. You can do it. So talking about oh right uh sculpting the low polygon stuff um as much as you can into the low poly and then in zbrush you just do you know the small wrinkles some extra little tension stuff along your big curves but your big curves you want to have modeled in there uh, if you have the polygons if not then you gotta fake it with zbrush a little bit with your normal map better Here we start adding bulges uh, and this volume from the middle then we split across we start feeling really good It'll create a really nice normal map for us and look super smooth inside of the game. Idea, anyways. See how much easier that is than if we just like tried to do this straight out of ZBrush? Kind of a pain in the ass. Fucking adventure for him trying to just get under the fucking bed. Or his chair. Poking it. <coughs> Never done that before. Nice jump, proof. Nice jump. Lion. Fucking rat lion. Adding a hole to the back of the dress. Uh, are you talking about her backpack, like, 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 over here, like a sexy kind of like open back dress thing? Um, no, it'd be it'd be more. It, it would create too much um, noise back there because she's got all these ponytails that are gonna be swinging about. So having like her bare back, you know, showing on her her lower back, as well, guessing, or the upper back. Um, yeah, no. Probably too busy, I think. I think that works better when uh, girls, or you know, yeah, when girls have their hair up, and they, that's when they have the open back or the the holes in the back. Otherwise, it's. it's not...
cranberry and a lot of rum in there. Ooh, rah. All right, so now for this piece, um, instead of bringing it out, we're gonna actually push it in a little bit more. So that it follows uh, curvature all the way around. Guys, that have, uh, if you guys haven't joined our Steam group, make sure you guys um, join it up so that you can get notifications on your desktop when we go live. Post. And throughout the stream, uh, every now and then I'll throw another one out there in case some people missed it or they just jumped on their computer and they know that we're streaming. Push this guy inward a little bit. This guy as well. Help us out. Done with the shoulder piece, I mean, smoothing wise. And yo, yo, no audio, but looking good. Uh, I'm guessing that's no audio on your side for some reason. Oh, you're set up for the email notifications? Oh, that's awesome, dude. Good stuff, good stuff. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, our, our first full female set, I guess.
Would I be able to put music from Transistor or Bastion on your stream? There's no... Then behind the question, just a song reminder. Um, I actually do did download... Well, I, I bought the game and I bought the soundtrack for it. So what I need to do is uh, run a test of the music on the stream while it's like, well, we're beginning the stream and then restart the stream. And then what I can do is check back to see if that music got muted by Twitch and well, YouTube doesn't matter. But if it doesn't get muted by Twitch, then I can run it. So we can do a test for that next stream and then we can run some of that transistor music, man, because I do have it. But I can't do it right now because I don't know if it's going to mute the stream and it'll fuck up uh, the, the replay uh, broadcast for the other people that want to see it later. I look like Bradley Cooper. <laughs> no, I really don't, but... You're probably saying that because you've been in here before and people were throwing that shit around, man. <laughs> Kitty, you're not even subscribed to the stream, so don't even try and give us that shit. <laughs> don't even. Nice try, though. Pretty sure that dog's asleep now. Oh god. You subbed yesterday and I missed it? No, you didn't. You talked about how it made your tentacles map? Why not? Nah, you, you did not sub. There's no uh, little icon next to your name either. Unless that's bugged out. I don't think it's bugged out. I think she's trolling you guys. I think it's happening right now. Smoother there section for that. That looks nice. Alright, let's move on. Keep going with this smoothness. This cup is full of swag, man. And a lot of rum. <laughs> oh yeah. You subbed with Facebook? What? Are you saying you subbed or you followed? There you go. Oh, see, yeah. Now you guys are talking about it. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I thought so. Hey, but thanks for following us. That's cool. It's all good. Appreciate the follows. All support. Love it.
Hmm. That might have been a little too much in that direction, I think. Yeah, I want to cut it up more into the middle here and then have another... Stronger uh, bolt uh, coming from the right side, not from the middle to the right. I don't think the fabric they like, pull in that direction that much. Let's fix that real quick. save this before I hide that stuff so we won't have to worry about it next time we save. Now you feel obligated to sub. No, do not feel obligated to sub. Do not feel obligated at all. Like I said, we appreciate the follows a lot. Thank you so much. There we go. And uh, I modeled this little poly in here so that I um, I knew right off the bat that that was going to be a pretty big wrinkle uh, going right off the side of her hip. And then making kind of like dip in a little bit in here. And having another wrinkle right up in there. Let's smooth this out stuff. Let's uh, smooth this out a little bit first. Some uh, initial shapes just like that. Find that out a little bit. Getting a little bit of that big wrinkle that we wanted. Yep. We'll continue that up going upwards a little bit into the way. That's a, that's a pretty good start there. Bit of a... Echo a little bit of... Fix it up afterwards. Almost like a sketch. Hey, it's Ranifor. What's up, man? Welcome in. Uh, Hoppy Live. Hey, I like your name, dude. How much is the tablet? These tablets go... This is an Intuos 4, which is a couple of years old. Maybe longer. More like three, maybe three and a half. Uh, these guys probably sell for a couple hundred bucks now. After they went down in, in price. Hello, Mr. Horizon. Thank you for following us. Long time no stream? Dude, we streamed like three days, two days ago. Three days ago? Two days ago. We streamed a few days ago, man. And it was our first stream of 2015. And it was good, dude. We gave a lot of shit away. We gave away sets. We gave away, I think, three or four sets. And then threw some freebies in there, too. <laughs> nice, Ryan. Four. Very nice, dude. PayPal doesn't believe your name. Weird. Actually, there's a thing that I just, uh, a message I just saw on uh, Twitch. And this is not related to do, just that uh, overseas people now have like all these different ways of like paying or subscribing or donating or whatever. And Twitch sends me a message and it says, hey, uh, check this out. There's new ways for your uh, followers to, or subscribers, you know, to, uh, to, uh, to pay or whatever. And it's like, would you like to, uh, would you like to turn that on? I was like, yeah? Why why wouldn't I why do I not want that on? I don't get it. The Intuos 5 goes for about uh 300 for a medium, I think. Yeah, but I think that's the touch one though, ain't it? Maybe not, maybe the default one's done, maybe the touch is even more, but don't get the touch. It's completely overrated. Don't need it. Don't need you don't need the touchpad on your tablet, you got a pen. 
If you want to get a touch, then do that when you get the big ass antiques, then touch would actually make sense because you can be working and you know, do more things at once. But when you're working on a tablet and you're using your pen, you can't do multiple things because you have to look down, use your hand, because you know you, you don't see the screen on the bottom, and if you're looking up, you don't see your hand on the tablet. But you do see your pen. So it, it's kind of broken that way. On a tablet, you don't need fucking touch. You don't. On a on a Cintiq, it, it makes more sense. Giveaways for Pink 2015. <laughs> she is banned from entering the, the any more of this of the giveaways. Pink Ninja, they're calling you out. They just called you out a second ago. You missed it. <laughs> oh no, no, you were there. You actually mentioned it first. I had to scroll up a little bit. Or read up. <laughs> so bad. Press ass. Ah, oh, thanks, man. I like money. Why would I want that? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of silly. It's like, hey, do you want people to give you money? Please sub. No? Yeah, sure. Well, helps run the side and all the free stuff we do for people. The gestures are completely overrated, dude, because you have to look down, you know, or maybe not the gestures, but you know, if you're used to, you know, navigate, you don't, you don't need, it, it, it's broken, broken system. There, well, in Intuos 5 you can get touch and you get non touch. But yeah, Intuos 4 medium, which is the, I, I what I have right here, what you guys can see here. You can see uh, from the starting point there. Uh, let's see, what is that? It's about, I think, 11 inches is the, the size that they go with for the actual like surface space going across. About 11 or 12 inches. Uh, but yeah, I think it is the medium. And this thing's just perfect for me. Though, the new Cintiq 27 inch just are coming out fairly soon, so I don't know. I don't know, I might give those a try. Been waiting for them to actually get to a good size. I like really big screens. You will again? No, Pink Ninja. Bad. No. Hey, Fabian, what's up, buddy? Can you enter and give it to Pink? No, man. Pink doesn't even play Dota. She just wanted to win. She just likes the, the drawing aspect of it. She doesn't need Dota 2 items. And told her, like, don't enter. And I see her name come up twice during that enter. Uh, actually, just once, I think. She entered once? Or twice. And then she checked her, her credits. And she's like, nah, I'm not gonna win. Fucking wins. So bad. Bad Pink Ninja. Starting to take a uh, fairly decent shape up here. The tension lines were keeping them fairly well. Fucked it up a little earlier, but now we have this tension line a little bit nice. I think we can do a little bit better job here. Can I push it in? Make it follow some of these. The pre wrinkle that we had on there at the top. Like it was a nice little big for that. Maybe? Continue down here. Yeah, that's the other thing. Your hand completely, you know, you, you obscure your vision. If you're used to an Intuos for many years, like I am, 
switching over will probably be a little bit of a, uh, a learning curve for a few months because yeah you're you're going back to that classical art of uh, drawing where you are occluding your vision for the whole right side uh of your of your screen pretty much i mean see, you can see my hand right here this is the drawing space half of it is taken up if i'm in the middle it's definitely something to uh adjust to the only thing that I'm kind of fearing is that it still trails a little bit. There's a little bit of lag after your brush strokes, like it's not one to one. So if that's the case, then I would I don't know. I don't know how how big of a delay that still is from before. I think that's a big selling feature for me. No, Pink just started playing. Uh, what was it? Don't starve. Pretty popular game now. Uh, the heroes in the bundle: uh, Necro, PA, Ogre Magi, uh, Wraith King, uh, Witch Doctor, and Sniper. Two hundred dollars for what? Something from a game that you've been playing? Yeah, man, go ahead. That's kind of crazy. You need a synthic because you can only draw traditionally. Oh man, I, I think you would get used to a, uh, an Intel's tablet. Fairly easy. Too much for you? How long did you try them for? It usually takes a couple of months and then you're just flying through it, man. $200 for this round of four. Let's see, what do you got? So... Are you flying? Who, who's the one flying? Are you both flying together? Like attached? Looks like you're like on top of the, th like the thing flying. What the fuck is this? What is this game? <laughs> what the fuck? That seems really weird. And $200? Uh, dude, that's... When I see items sell for that much, just because they're rare or some shit like that, I don't fucking get it. Because, I mean, I've worked in many studios in, in during my throughout my career. And we'll work on a title for, you know, like... 100 of us, 75 of us, 50 of us will work on a title for like three years. Three years of a hundred people at fairly good salaries to sell a game for like $50. And then somebody's like, oh, look at this this little mount, this, you know, 300, 500 polygon mount for a while. $100. That took like a weekend to make out of... I don't get it, man. The market. Kinda crazy with these microtransactions in some games, man. Fucking nuts. Oh, shit. Oh, on that autosave, Seabrush decided to fuck over my, uh... My sensitivity uh, settings. So, we're gonna have to save this and close down ZBrush and reopen ZBrush. ZBrush is uh, ridiculously stupid like that sometimes. Can I show you guys the Phantom Assassin? Yeah, why not? Shit, I can show you guys all the bundles. You guys want to see all the bundles? Look we'll a little preview. Back to where we were.
heightened up that sensitivity a little bit. Uh, are these polygons? Yeah, dude, these are all polygons. And we're not really that deep in subdivisions yet, but uh, we have a kind of really good beginning section start for, uh, for our low polygon. So now, right now, we just been smoothing them, and then we're gonna add uh, all the detailed wrinkles and uh, all those little things to the dress and some seam lines here and there. Any comments about not having a new version of XSI in the future? Uh, yeah, actually, that question comes up quite a bit, and I still need to add it to the FAQ, but... Uh, you know what, like, it doesn't really matter if they're not really supporting it any longer. In the past, like, three, four years, they really haven't been doing anything new with this Optimage, really. They just kind of bought them out, so they wouldn't be competition. Autodesk did. Uh, so, I mean, people have been creating plugins for exercise for many, many years. And they're gonna continue to do so. And the fact that you can keep exporting to other formats, to uh, import into other engines, it means you can keep working on, on Softimage and XSI for many, many years to come. So it doesn't really matter that Autodesk really stopped supporting it. 